Hello, good evening. Good Hello, evening. good evening. Teacher. Hi guys, how are you? Bye. And you? I'm great. Excited to start today's session. It's the last session of the week. Okay, so you the weekend it's around the corner. So, what is your plan for the weekend? Do you have any plan? Play softball tomorrow, no, Saturday. Um, traveling. And traveling. Okay, where 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 are you planning to go? Al zoológico, no sé cómo se dice. So the zoo, yeah, to the zoo, the national zoo, the one that is in San Salvador. Yes. Oh. Okay. With my, con mi sobrino. With my nephew. Nephew. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, Elena, Manuel, Milena, Teresa, Roberto, and Maide. Welcome. Thank welcome. you. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Manuel is ready with the Selecta t shirt. Yes, yes. Nice. Okay, so we're going to get started now. Uh, yesterday we were discussing a little bit about the WH questions and also uh, we're talking about the activities on, on the platform, right? Trying to explain to you a little bit about that. We were practicing conversation and we were also talking about the greetings from around the world. So uh, today, as I told you yesterday, it's it was necessary for you to study a little bit about the questions with B, okay? The yes, no questions and short answers, okay? And short answers. For example, um, if I ask you the question, let's see, Elena, uh, is your middle name Maria? Uh, no, I'm just saying. No, it's not, right? No, it's not. So it's a short answer. No, it's not. Okay, my day. Are you are you um, at work in this moment? At this moment? No, no, I not. No, I not. No, I'm not. So that is that is a yes no question with a short answer, right? So it's, okay, okay. It's very very um, easy. But we need to practice, right? We need to study. I'm going to share the screen with you so that we can study a little bit. And then we are going to have a little speaking activity, okay? To practice a yes, no questions and WH questions too. Okay, um, let me check. One, two, three here. Okay. Yeah, got it. Okay, somebody's, I think there's a church <laughs> near here. Because I, I, I hear some gospel music. Now we're going to um, see the slide. I don't know if you can see it. 
here. No, it's not this one, it's this one, right here. Okay, can you see the slide on the screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So, uh, the example question here is, are you free? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. If you see, uh, in the affirmative, we don't use contractions. We don't use contraction. We say, yes, I am. Yes, he is. Yes, it is. Yes, we are. Yes, they are. In the negative, yes, we can use contractions. For example, no, I'm not. No, he's not. No, he isn't. And the rest. Okay. Uh, Rodrigo, question number two for you. Is David from Mexico? The microphone is off. It's... Okay. Okay. The number two is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. Negative? He, no, he's not. No, he isn't. Okay, so you have the two options for the negative, right? No, he's not, or no, he isn't. Excellent, thank you. Uh, okay. Ve Veronica, question number three, please. Is bed class in the morning? Yes, it, it is. No. Uh -huh. no, it is it is not. And no, it is, it is, no, no sé cómo sería teacher. It isn't. It, it isn't. isn't. No, it's not. And no, it isn't. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Veronica. We continue with Manuel. Next question. Perdón, perdón, que estaba... Eh, the question. Ahorita, pero dígame. This question, please. Okay. With the blue are arrow. You, hmm? Are you on bed in the say class? Affirmative? Yes, we yes we are. Negative? No, we are not. not we're not. We are not. We're not. Okay, we're so not. we're, uh-huh, we're not. And we're the not. other one, we no, aren't. We aren't. We aren't. 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 So aren't. Sound T. Yeah, in this case, it is necessary to eliminate this, the sound of the letter E. So we say um, aren't. 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 No se pronuncia la E. Mm -hmm. We aren't. No, we aren't. That's correct. And the next question, Gabriela, can you hear me? Are your clay, clays interesting? Yes, they are. Negative? No, no, they are not. No, they aren't. Okay. So the pronunciation, thank you so much. The pronunciation here, when you say there is, they are not, is there, they're not. No, they're not. They're not. No, they're not. That's correct. So now, uh, in order to practice a little bit more about this, there is an exercise, letter A. So I am going to send you to the breakout rooms first so that you can um, answer the questions and complete the exercise in pairs, okay? Complete the exercise in pairs. So that's what you're going to do right now. We have exactly, let me check. Okay, we are going to stop the annotations here. Okay, 15. So, Let's say seven. Perfect. And yes. Okay, so we are complete. So take a screenshot, please, of the exercise A, in case that you don't have it. You can take a screenshot. Okay. Ready? You will have exactly one, two, three, four minutes to complete the answers. I mean, to complete the questions and answers and to 
practice, right? With answering and asking the questions. So um, that's what you're going to do. In three, two, one. See you later. I said the imitation, please. All right, welcome, Dinora. I am going to send you to a breakout room to practice the exercise letter A. Hello, Glenda and Dinora. Hi, Hello. Hello. Okay, good. Hello. So yeah, just you have the screenshot. Nice. If you need help, let me know. Okay. Contestar la la pregunta, ¿no? To complete the questions and answers. Okay. English class. Are you English class? Uh, no, porque es, está hablando, en la respuesta habla de la Miss, Miss de los señores, la Miss y el Mister. Okay, teacher. Hello. Teacher, can you help us? Ah, ya está. Uh -huh. Can you uh -huh. help us for number two? Number two. Ah, the they question. are talking about they are talking about are the your, class. Okay, are your English class the same? Mm, no, it's <laughs> singular. Only one class. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Is your class? Uh huh. Is is English class? Is English only? Is is English class? Is English. Is English class at 10, ah, okay. 10 o'clock. Mm. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Uh -huh. uh, it's at 11. It's at 11 o'clock, correct. It's... Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, number Number three, uh, you and Monique. Are you and Monique from France? Quito la compartida. No. No. Yo creo que sí. En la primera es yes, sí. Hello. Hello. Teacher, tenemos una consulta. Mm -hmm. Oh, bueno, I tengo una consulta. What is the question? Aquí en esa parte, ay, perdón, esperen. Aquí, digamos, en la, en el número uno para la respuesta sería yes, she is, pero vemos que tiene como una separación. Mm, yeah, uh -huh. yes, she is. is. Ahí vamos a poner. Period. Mm -hmm. Okay, ahí, ahí termina la respuesta de la, pre, la, la respuesta corta de la pregunta. Yes, she is. Ya después lo que aparece después del punto es como ex, información extra. 
Entonces después del punto no sería como es poner otra, oración. otra respuesta. Ajá. Es otra oración. Uh -huh. She is from is, Pero siempre is from en forma Chicago. afirmativa. Ajá, ajá. She is from Chicago. Ajá, solo está agregando información. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. <coughs> eh, ahorita sí. Hola, hola. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, did you finish? Yes. Yes, excellent. Okay, so uh, in this moment we're going, well, right now we're going to go back to the, to the plenary. Uh, so with all your classmates, because I think the majority of them already finished with the exercise. So let's go. Okay. See you there. All right. So everybody's coming back. Now it's time to share the answers. What do you have for, well, I'm going to see in the breakout rooms who was working with whom. In the breakout room number one, we had Isaac, Roberto, and Veronica. What is the answer for a question number one, for conversation number one? Answer. Yeah, the complete conversation, A and B. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is Mr. Gray from the USA? Is Miss Gray, uh -huh. Miss Gray from the, U the USA? Yeah, she is. She is from Chicago. She's from Chicago, correct. Excellent. Class for them. Don't forget to use the reactions. And wait, where are the reactions? Here. Excellent. Now we continue with the breaker room number two. Anna, Gabby, and Jancy. Uh, breaker room number two. I mean, uh, conversation number two. What is the correct answer here? Is English class at 10. Is English class at 10? No, no, it is not. No, it isn't. Uh -huh. well, no, it isn't. It is uh -huh. at 11. It's at 11. Correct. Excellent. Great job, girls. Okay. <laughs> Congrats. We continue with the number three. In the breakout room, number three, we had Rodrigo. I think it was uh, Soveda for a moment. And also... Uh, I think there was another participant, but we, he lost connection. So what do you have for number three? Number three, are you from Monique, from France? France? Yes, we are. They are from, from France. France. Yes, we are. Yes, we, we are. are. Uh-huh. Yes, we are. They are from Paris. Mm. They are. Mm, no, in this case, is we are. Oh. We, oh, are, we, are. We, we are from Paris. Okay, from Paris. That's correct. And conversation number four. Number four, we have Karen, Loida, Teresa, and Alba. Mm -hmm. Anybody from that group? Yes. Are Mr. and Miss Tavers American? Number four. No, they aren't. Huh? 
Yes, number Mr. four. Mr. and Mrs. Tavares, American. Are Mr. and Mr. Tavares American? No, they aren't. They're Brazilian. Nope. So we continue with the breakout room number five. Dinora, Glenda, and Miguel. What do you have for this? Hello? One, two, three, one, two, three. Can anybody hear me? For which one? For which one? Hello, hello. Letter A, teacher. Hi. Hello. Uh, Hello. Okay. So I think that by accident, my Bluetooth uh, earpods activated. So I didn't. I cannot. I didn't listen to you with the with the headphones. Wait a second. Hello. So can you can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, interesting. So I have to change my my uh, devices. So um, sorry, I didn't hear the answer for the last conversation, number four. Number four are Mr. and Mr. Tavares American. No, they are no, they are from Brazil. Okay, no, they aren't. They are Brazilian. Okay, so we continue with the next questions here. Uh, from the breakout room number six, we have my dad, Sonia, and Victoria. So I'm going to ask a question to Sonia. Exercise B, are you from the United States, Sonia? Sonia here. Okay, so my day. Si gusta, sigo yo, no sé. Okay, sure, no problem. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. No, uh -huh. I'm from no, I'm from the United States. Okay, in this case, the complete answer is no, I am not, or I'm no, not, I not, I'm not from the United States. From the United States. Okay. Or a uh, short, well, in this case, if you answer no, give the correct information. So, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Esa sería la respuesta correcta, No, right? I'm not. No, uh -huh. I'm not. Ahora de la información correcta. ¿De dónde no, es? I'm not from the United States. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh -huh. No, I'm not from the United States. I'm from El Salvador. I'm from El Salvador. That is ah, a complete... <laughs> uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. okay. Correct. Um, number two. Uh, Manuel. Is your teacher from Canada? No, I'm not. The no, teacher. I'm not. No, no. I, I, no, I am not. Quad, uh, quad. What is the correct uh, pronoun for the teacher? ¿Cuál sería el, pron el pronombre correcto a utilizar si estamos hablando del teacher? No, he isn't. He, no, he isn't. He. 
Uh -huh. from Canada. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Ah. Es la respuesta corta a la pregunta, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. Pero como al responder que no, algo, vamos a dar información correcta. ¿Cuál sería la información correcta sobre el teacher? No, he is from El Salvador. He is from El Salvador. El Salvador en Honduras. Centroamérica. Oh. Yes. Ok. Uh, no, he isn't. He's from El Salvador. Excellent. Let's continue with the next one. In the breakout room number seven. Mm -hmm. In the breakout room number, number seven. Uh, <laughs> Rodrigo, you have a question? No, no, no. No, I have. <laughs> no, okay. So in the breakout room number seven, we have Elena, Kevin, and Milena. So let's see. Kevin, uh, is your English class in the morning? Kevin? Hola, hola. Hello. Is your English class in the morning? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, is. Yes, it is. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And no, in this case, la, the question is about the class, the English class. La pregunta es sobre la clase. En la clase de inglés, eh, su, su yes, clase indeed. de inglés, en la yes, mañana. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, 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 ¿Cuál pronombre no, utilizamos para referirnos a cosas, objetos it, it, o animales? It, 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 no, so, it isn't. It. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. No, it is. It's at night. It's at night. Okay, correct. No, it isn't. It is at night. It's at night. Correct. Um, and then you have the question, right? Are you and your best friend the same age? No, we're not. No, we're oh. not. Uh, she's 40, 43, I think, and I am 34. So we are not the same age, okay, with my best friend. Now, we're going to continue with the next activity. So, to practice more, I prepare some questions for you. You are going to be in the breakout rooms and you are going to ask different questions, okay? Um, using yes, no, and using WH questions, okay? They are mixed, okay? They are mixed questions. So you are going to practice. Um, I am going to, you can take a screenshot right now because you will practice a conversation in the breakout rooms, okay? Wait, okay, ready? Set. Don't forget, for the yes no question, you can give short answers. Uh, yes, I am, or yes, um, he is, yes, she is, or no, I'm not. And then for the WH questions, is specific information. Okay? Now, let's practice pronunciation. Okay? Let's practice pronunciation. First question, are you from the Sulutan? Are you from the Sulutan? That's the number one. Eh, alguien number tiene two. abierto el micrófono. Eh, eh, alguien tiene abierto el micrófono y se escucha interferencia. Okay, no wait a second. I'm going to check. Uh, right now, no. Okay. So, are you from the Sulutan? That's the first question. The second question, what's your best friend's name? What's your best friend's name? Where is El Pital located? That's a question number three. 
Where's El Pital located? Uh, number four, is your family large? Is your family large? An extended family, right? Uh, familia grande. Um, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? That is the next question. When is your birthday? You say, my birthday is on, and then you mention the date, specific date. For example, my birthday is on September 12th. Uh, next one, who is your favorite actor or actress? Okay, who is, right? And then you say, my the complete answer, my favorite actor or my favorite actress is, and then you mention the name. Are you married? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. So you have to answer yes or no. Y decir la verdad y nada más que la verdad. Okay, next question. Uh, why are you studying English? Why are you studying English? Okay, the reason, the reason, okay? Why are you studying English? Okay, now, uh, any questions? Any doubts about the questions? Preguntas sobre las preguntas? Yes not. or no? Yes and not. Eh, hay, tres preguntas de, hay tres preguntas de sí y no, y las otras preguntas son específicas. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's correct. Okay, so let me recreate the breakout room. So we're going to have smaller groups. The idea is that everybody can practice, okay? So one, two, three. Yes, this group is complete. Uh -huh. Here we have one. Okay, perfect. So we're ready to go now. I am going to send you to the breakout rooms and you are going to have exactly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight questions. So approximately five to six minutes for you to ask and answer the questions. If you want to change some information, it's okay. For example, instead of saying Usulutan, you can ask, are you from Samuel? You can change the, 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 the information, right? Uh, you can ask a question, for example, where is El Pital located? You can say, where is El Cuco located? Uh, or you can ask a question, um, let me check. Who is your favorite singer? Okay instead of actor or actress. Uh, and that's it, okay? I think those are the only modifications that we can make right now. Um, so I think that we are ready. I'm just going to make one more modification and you're ready to go. One, two, three, see you later. I said the invitation now. Primero pregu pregunto yo y después usted o, o viceversa. Ok, tú me haces las preguntas. Ok. ¿Estás de Francia? No, no soy from... de Sultan, I'm from San Salvador. What's your best friend's name? My best friend's name is Patty Castillo. Okay. Where is El Pital lo located? Lo El Pital 
El pital is in Chalatenango. Is your family large? Yes, my family is large. Okay. When is your birthday? My birthday is on August 26. August 26, Yes, yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> What is Luana? Tres. What is el pita located? Mm, qué bueno. Allí quiero ver qué sería. What is el pita? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Ajá. Where? ¿Dónde queda el pital? Ah, uh, yes. Sí. Entonces sería este. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's located in Look Chalate. Chalate. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. <laughs> y ahí está. Is your family large? Es tu familia grande. Large. What? What's your best friend name? My best friend is Vanessa. Okay, Vanessa. Super. Where, where is El Pita located? El Pita is located in Quinchalatenango? Yes, that's right. Yes. Her names are Bessie, um, Elena, and Marisol. Okay, where is the El Pital located? El Pital is located at, um, I think, Chalatenango. Yes. And is your family large? Yes, yes it is. Okay, and the next question is, when is your birthday? My, my birthday, birthday is mm -hmm. on July 2nd. Okay, nice, July 2nd. No, day, June 2nd. Month. Ah, June 2nd, June 2nd, okay. Glenda and is, who is, is uh, on October 26th. Okay. Who is your favorite actor or actress? My favorite actor is Mario Casas. I love the actors. Mario Casas. Yes. Chiki, 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 chiki. He is beautiful. And no sé cómo se dice talentoso. Talented. <laughs> talented. 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 With talented. ED. Yeah, with ED. That's correct. Limited. Okay. Teacher. Uh huh. Exists the the word. Um, para hablar sobre hijos e, e hijas, pero en un plural sin tener que decir hijos e hijas, que ya Children. no son child. No, ah. children. Ya, ya son adultos. Uh -huh. Ya adultos. Um, no, you have to say no. sons and daughters, yeah. Sons and daughters, okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you married? No, I'm not. I am single. And you? Me too. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and Let's celebrate, too. yes. And very, <laughs> and very happy for that. Happy for that, exactly. <laughs> That's a good reason to celebrate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why are you studying English? Because I I like learning and maybe in the future in my plans is live in other country and I need English. Okay. No sé si lo dije bien. 
Yeah, your plan in the future is maybe to live in another country. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Ah, esa, esa, esa es lo que yo estaba pensando. Ah, de verdad. Es la mexicana. Ajá. Okay. Okay. No. Not yet, okay. No. Vamos por, are, are you married? Chris E, ¿verdad? Uh, Angelina Julie. Are you married? Yes. We are, why are you studying English? Um, I study English in, in online in Sephora. Why? Okay. The reason. What is the reason? Why is por qué? Por qué? Yeah. Because you like it. Because it's very important. Because important because it's important okay it's that's important the reason and for the work um for the um you know to visit another country um ah, okay. yeah to visit mm -hmm. another country okay that's right so i think the time is over right now yeah i'm just going to check one more group Ahí estamos ya. Ahí estamos. Finish. Yes. Oh, no, no, yes, no. Ahí está. Sí, teacher. Yes, ahí estamos. I, I have a uh, question. What is the question? Uh -huh. um, in, in, in this case, de, la pregunta le, que le preguntaba el, el nombre de la, del mejor amigo. ¿Verdad que se le uh -huh. sería la respuesta his o her name? His. Yeah, you can say uh, his name is or her name is, or you can say okay. my best friend's name is. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, different okay. ways. Okay. Excellent. You. See you later. Thank you. All right. So you finish answering the, the majority of the questions or all the questions, I think. Okay, so uh, was any question difficult for you to answer? Or you have some doubts about what is the, the best way or the correct way to answer one of these questions? Alguna duda, alguna pregunta que se le dificultó un, po un poco eh, al... Este, una pregunta, que, una, una, una consulta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Esa es la pregunta, is your family large? Podría contestarse not I is short or I little. Um, well, actually, when the families are, ver you can say that it's a small family. That's okay. Uh, it's a small family. Uh, it's a nuclear family. We're talking nuclear families. Okay, but it's a, it's, you can say that it's small. It's a small family. Uh, Entonces no, no aplica este short. Short little. family. Familia corta, let me check. Short family. I think it might, it might. I'm going to double check just in case. Uh, but usually a uh, short family. What happened is that with short, uh, when you say short family, suena como una familia que es pequeña de estatura. Short family. Uh -huh. So okay, for that okay. reason, you can say a small family, small family, para referir tamaño, que es la familia es pequeña. Uh -huh. Small family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, Ahí podríamos contestar, no we are. In. Is your family large? Y es mal. Small, yes, you can say small family. Uh, it, no, we aren't. Uh, it's possible, but it's in general, you can say yes, it is, or no, it isn't. Yes, it is, no, it isn't. 
Eh, podemos utilizar el pronombre it, it para referirnos a familia porque no especificamos un género específico eh, de, de, de los miembros. Entonces, solo el it se podría utilizar para referirse al, al grupo porque family, aunque es, se refiere a un montón de gente, es una palabra singular. Family. Ok. Eh, so, my family is beautiful. No decimos my family are. Entonces, uh, in this case, is your family large? Yes, it is. Or no, it's not. Mm -hmm. Now, quickly, we're going to move on to the next slide. Uh, there are different expressions that we can use. Uh, for example, when we say goodbye, right? Uh, some are formal, some are a little informal, some are casual. So we have bye, hey, good morning, hi, good night, how are you? Goodbye, how's it going? Have a good day, see you later, hello, and see you tomorrow. So what expressions do we use for hello? Good morning. Good morning. Hi. 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 How is it going? How's it going? How yes. How are you? How are you? Hello. And hello. hello. That's it. Hey, mm -hmm. right? Okay. For and for goodbye, we can say good night, goodbye. Have a good day. Have a good, good day. day. See you later. See you later. See you, See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. See you next week. For example, when we finish today's class, we say "See you next week." Hey. Next week. Bye. Okay. So um, we're going to match. We're going to match the greetings. Exercise B. Um, Number one, have a good day. Letter B, thank you. You too. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to select, I'm going to select Sonia and Karen. Sonia and Karen, number two, please. Sonia, you say number two, and Karen, you say, you read the compliment, the correct compliment for number two. Hi. Teacher, una, una pregunta es que no sé si hay dos Karen. Karen Heimer, uh, creo que solo hay una. Sí. Yeah, Hi. only you. <laughs> okay, so. Teacher, ahorita no sé si he comprendido, ¿verdad? Pero, pero. Eh, Number two. Hi. Hi. Ah, okay. How are you? Ah, okay. O sea, es que vaya, ahí me, no me he confundido. O sea, eh, voy a repetir la primera. No, only number two. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hi. Only number two. Mhm. Mm Solo es el, el segundo saludo. Hi, how are you? Ah, okay. Hi, how are you? Karen? Pretty good, thanks. Pretty good, pretty good, thanks. Pretty, good. pretty es bonito, pero también bien, okay? Uh, o bastante bien en ese caso. Pretty good, bastante bien, pretty good. Okay, um, so next one. Manuel and Gladys. Number three. Yeah. Uh, okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Gladys. Okay. See you. Okay. See you. And the last one that is really easy. Good morning. Good morning. Right. You can answer good morning with a good morning. So simple as that. Right. Um, next one, it's what's in the name, okay? It's time to read. So um, quickly, because of time, I am going to read, pay attention to the information and answer, you're going to give me the answers to the questions, okay? Al finalizar la lectura, uh, me va a decir si es cierto o verdadero cada una de las oraciones que aparecen acá, okay? Uh -huh. um, so, look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? 
What are they like? Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It, it is an important part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. Boys' names. Okay, George, average, boring. Jacob, creative, friendly. Michael, good looking, athletic. Stanley, nerdy and serious. Girls' names, Betty. Uh, or Betty, right? Old fashioned or average. Emily, independent, adventurous. Jane, plain or ordinary. Nicole, beautiful, intelligent. Okay, these are opinions from people, right? De algunas personas que entrevistaron, supuestamente. Pensaban eso. So, why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the Georges and Bettys out there. Okay, saben de acuerdo en que los nombres son bien polémicos. Okay, uh, so according to the article, Number one, your name is part of your identity. True or false? True. 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 Number two. Number two, uh, one volunteer to read. Ana Maria, thank you. You? Number two. Uh huh. <laughs> ¿Qué tengo que hacer, tite? Number two, people often feel. Read the statement. Um, perdón, leer el segundo párrafo. The second statement here. This. I, I don't understand, teacher. Here. The exercise A. Ah, es que no lo veo. Voy a subir. Okay. Ah, are you in your cell phone? <laughs> sí, en mi cell phone. Ah, that's why. Okay, people often feel. Uh, lo voy a ampliar. Open feel, open often feel the same what the way about a particular name. True or false? Uh, false. I think it's true. True. <coughs> it is false. true. Okay, it is true. true. People generally agree on the way they feel about names. Normalmente la gente está de acuerdo sobre un nombre, okay? Um, okay, number three. One volunteer to read, Rodrigo. Thank you. Boy, Names, boys name, boys, yeah, boy name are more popular than girl names. True or false? False. 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 Okay. Ahí no hay, no hay competencia. Son igual de populares. Okay. Number four. One volunteer. One volunteer. Okay. We have a volunteer here. Uh -huh. We have Glenda. And then Soveida. Glenda number four, Soveida number five. People are often named after family members. 
True. 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 Okay. Um, that's correct. For example, my name is Freddy. My father's name was Freddy. So, yes. Uh, number five. Opinions about names can, can change. It's true. true. Or false? Yes, it is true. Okay. Uh, in the present, a lot of people are called Santiago or Nicolás. In those names, Mateo. Mateo. And in the past, Mateo. I mean, like five years, like 10 years ago, Mateo, Nicolás, Santiago, Sebastián were not popular names. Okay. Hace mm como -hmm. 10 años no eran populares. Hace como 20, 30, 30 años, probablemente sí. Okay. Now they are popular. So they change. Okay. Los nombres van cambiando. Okay. Um, correct. Okay. It's like Brian. Tuvo su época de, de fama. <laughs> Ahora ya no mucho. Okay. So yes, that's, that's correct. And so we're done with this. Very good comprehension for the reading. That was awesome. We're going to continue with the next part. So we're going to finish with this um, with this activity. Just a question. How do you spend your day? Uh, this is about uh, the... How can I tell you? Okay, this is about the six worst jobs in the United States. But... This is just as an opening, right, of what we're going to be studying on the next class. So um, these, these six jobs or these top six is considered based on salary, stress, number of hours, working conditions, and security. Listen and repeat. Fisherman. 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 Taxi driver. Taxi driver. Cowboy. Cowboy. Construction worker. Construction worker. Dancer. 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 Lumberjack. 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 Okay. Lumberjack. So uh, based on this, the worst job they consider is uh, lumberjack. Okay, in your opinion, what is the worst or the most difficult job? The most difficult job from these six? For in me, your construction. Opinion. Construction for you? I think Somebody fisherman. else? Fisherman for you. Okay. Very difficult. Why? So, why are those jobs difficult? Why is a fisherman's job difficult? Because of the smell? It's very difficult because it's very dangerous. It can be dangerous. It's very dangerous to stay in the ocean and if you, if you, if you can't do very well, you can't do it. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's true. Imagine with Moby Dick or with a shark. Yeah, it's uh, it can be dangerous or Aquaman. You never know. Now we're going to continue with uh, more a tsunami. Now we're going to continue with the next one. Construction worker is complicated, right? It's also difficult, as uh, I think Soveida mentioned that. Um, uh, the people very strong. The people have to be very strong. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. And the conditions are not so good, right? The conditions are not yes. so good. Yes. Okay. Can you mention other jobs that are difficult? That are not in this list? Long I think that. doctors. Doctors. In, in, the, in this time? Difficult. Yeah, especially with the pandemic, being a doctor, yes. being a nurse. 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 Being a teacher can be, can be dangerous. Uh, 
Yeah, that's what I love online classes. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. no, no COVID, no problem. Okay, so no transportation. Yeah. So yes. So that's that's a little bit that we what we're going to be discussing in the next classes. Okay, now. Do you have questions about the platform, guys? I'm going to stop sharing now. Eh, preguntas sobre algún ejercicio que les esté costando un poco? I never understand what answer in the in the shuttle of Helen, Roy, y no me acuerdo quién era la otra. Nunca entendí, nunca entendí a qué horas, a qué, o sea, ¿qué fue? O sea, hay una parte que no, no la entiendo y es la única que no me sale bien de esa okay. conversación. Por más que la he escuchado más de 10 veces y no. <laughs> ok, that somebody, that somebody know the answer for that one? ¿Alguien que le ha salido buena esa? Um, a mí me salió buena, pero no remember. Tendría que escucharla de nuevo para dar Pero no horas. remember. <laughs> no remember. I like the Spanish, pero no remember. Okay. <laughs> That's it. So, what is the exercise? Well, for that, uh, probably we have to listen to that. Tendríamos que escuchar esa. Uh, but in the rest of the exercises, no problem. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Is it number two? Two, no okay. problem. Yes. Number dele, two. Dele. What is the thing? Okay. So it's here. Tempo present. No, siga. Es que es un audio. Ah. Full time. Es el penúltimo quiz. Daily schedule. Ah. Ese. Ah, ok. So, I'm not sure if I'm sharing the screen. So, um, basically, I'm going to share sound. This here. Here. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. And I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay, so the confusion maybe is about the time they get home and the time they go to sleep. Creo que por ahí va la confusión quizás. Yes. Que dice la hora en la que llegan a la casa y la hora en la que se van a la, a la cama a dormir. Okay, so, but, but yeah, it's a little clear, so maybe you have to... Pay attention. For example, uh, the boy, the man gets, Rodney gets home at 11 and goes to bed at 1 in the morning. Okay. So, um, y si aún tiene problemas, me manda la captura o algo, me escribe y yo le, le, le ayudo. Okay. So, Thank that you. will be all for today. We're going to take a picture of the group of the week number one. Okay. I'm going to take a screenshot right now. Okay, vamos a tomar la captura, foto captura de la semana uno para terminar. Okay, so if you can turn on your camera, that will be great. Okay, no se preocupen, estas fotos no van para el Facebook. 
Okay. Ready, set, and wait a second, full screen. One, two, three. I see three, four, five, six, seven, eight cameras. Nine, nine cameras. Okay, awesome. One, mm -hmm. two, okay. three, don't move. Okay. <laughs> ok, ahí sí, Kevin now. Okay. <laughs> Algunos que todavía no los conocían porque no, no, no habían salido a la cámara. Ah, pero un momentito. Ok. One, I see Gladys now. Excellent. Kevin, hello. One, two. Claro, con la luz blanca, fondo blanco, todo blanco. Ok. One, two, three. Excellent. So. That will be all. We got the picture. Have a good night and an excellent weekend. Take care. Take care Mande la foto. Mande la foto al grupo, teacher. I will send a picture to the group. Don't worry. Bye bye, guys. Yeah, see you on bye bye. Monday. Bye bye. See you on Monday. Yeah, see you on Monday. See you on Monday. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Mandenos la foto al grupo. Yes, yes, yes. I will. Bye. Okay, goodbye.